What is up guys? We're back with another video and today we're checking out what might possibly be the best air cooler of 2019. It is the Noctua NH-U12A. So let's go ahead and take a look. To start things off, the NH-U12A is a single tower cooler that comes with two 120 millimeter fans. Now compared to other Noctua coolers, this cooler is not all that large, but it does weigh in at 1220 grams. The two fans that are included with the cooler are Noctua's new NF-A12X25 fans. The fans make use of Noctua's advanced acoustic optimization frame, flow acceleration channels, and an SSO2 bearing. Since you have two fans, they are set up in a push-pull configuration. If we look at the cooler from the side, we can see the thickness of the heatsink, which is only 58 millimeters. So with both fans installed, you're still going to have 100% compatibility on Intel and AM4 motherboards. Noctua tells us that the fin stack itself has 37% more fin surface than the previous NH-U12S cooler. The cooler features seven heat pipes that travel up into the heatsink in a U fashion. They come together at the base of the cooler, which is nickel plated copper. If we take a closer look at the base of the cooler, it has one of the best finishes we've seen from Noctua. This is going to ensure good contact with your CPU and of course, better heat transfer. Getting into insulation, insulation of this cooler is very easy. We will be installing this on our AM4 system. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the stock retention modules on each side of your CPU socket. Next, you're gonna wanna install the mounting bars and there are a specific set of mounting bars and spacers for AM4. So you place the spacers on top of the holes on your motherboard, then screw in the mounting bars. Apply your thermal paste and remove the two fans from the heatsink. Then very carefully set it on top of your CPU, lining up the screws with the threads on the mounting bars. With everything lined up correctly, secure the heatsink by tightening both screws. Finally, reinstall both fans and use the included Y connector to connect them to the CPU fan header on your motherboard. With both fans installed, you can see we have no clearance issues with our memory or graphics card. Our test system is made up of the following hardware. For our idle test, we let the system sit on the Windows 10 desktop for one hour and record the average temperature. For the load test, we run the ADA64 system stability test with the CPU test enabled and we test for one hour and record the highest temperature. Even though this cooler has two fans, they are extremely quiet even at full load. All right guys, so as you can see, this is our best performing cooler on our AM4 system. And usually when it comes to air coolers, you know, the ones that are super high performance, there's usually some type of trade-off, right? So either it's super hard to install, it's big and you know, it overhangs your memory or something like that, or it's super loud. But with this cooler, we don't have any of those issues. It's a small enough cooler that there are no clearance issues. The installation is incredibly easy and the fans aren't loud at all. The new fans are really awesome. Even with two installed and running, you know, on full load, this is quieter than a lot of other coolers out there. Um, you know, the size, it's a single tower cooler, so it's not all that large. We installed it on this test bench here, but you know, if you had it in a case, you could easily install it with both your memory and graphics card installed. It's just that easy. And like I said, installation is incredibly easy. This is easier to install than almost every other cooler that we've tested in the past. Um, it takes literally five minutes to get this thing installed. Super, super easy there. And, you know, just like all Noctua coolers, they do include a screwdriver. So you don't even have to worry about, you know, finding that screwdriver. They have everything there with you. As I said, super high performance. You know, this can be run on, you know, anything from high end desktop on the Intel side to a Ryzen 7 2700X, which we tested it on here on this AM4 system. Um, it's just a great cooler. Now, there are two downsides to this cooler. For some people, the first one might be that it looks like a Noctua cooler. You have those Noctua colors that some people either love or hate. No RGBs, no lighting, nothing flashy. It's just that Noctua look. Um, so you're either gonna love or hate that. And the second thing is the price. It's about $100. And when it comes to air coolers, that's on the super high end, I would say of air coolers that's getting into AIO pricing. 
What I have to say about that is this is gonna perform pretty close to an AIO. We didn't test any AIOs on this, but based on everything that I know, it's gonna you know, test right around an AIO. And the thing about this is that it's gonna be easier to install. It's gonna be much easier to install than an AIO. With an AIO, you have to mount the fans to the radiator, then you have to mount the radiator, and then you have to mount the CPU block. Um, you know, if you are looking for an air cooler, I would say this is the best air cooler that's out right now. And it just, it's a full package. Like I said, great performance, easy to install, doesn't have any clearance issues, and it's not all that loud. And when it comes to air coolers, it's really hard to find an air cooler that kind of has all of those, you know, check marks or check boxes marked, you know. Um, so we will have our link below to our full written review of this CPU cooler on thinkcomputers.org. And we'll also have the link where you can go ahead and pick this up. Now, if you have any questions about this cooler, whether it's in terms of performance or installation, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. And we would appreciate it if you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Till next time, catch you guys later.